like I told you, treating the surfaces, the volume of the air. So if I know the volume of the air, I know the temperature, what type of oxygen level, believe it or not, I do a lot of controlled atmosphere environments for apples, kiwis, hmm. uh, pomegranates, I could like see that. that. So I have low oxygen levels, so you have to know that. That's my fuel, ox reactive oxygen. And then from there, then it's the commodity. So if I'm pomegranate or am I cannabis? Am I a flower room or am I clone room? Yeah. The bio loads change. Based on that, we pr provide a unit that is designed to treat that bio load so that it's not running 1% of the time. It's like putting a 12 ton unit on a house that needs a two ton. Yeah, you don't want to a good analogy. The, you don't want to have the wrong, you, yeah, it cools the house, but it's not efficient. Right. So we don't want to oversell somebody something, cost them way more that's never running, and we don't want to sell them something so small that's not working. Yeah. You want the results. So that's where all the different models come into, is sizing it to the room, and then it's just a matter of configuration. So what kind of controller do they want, where do they want it? Mm -hmm. Like these models are, the, the 4120s I could talk about, they're uh, very, we'll call them potent, they're very strong, yeah, high yeah. capacity, low, low amperage, like I said, three amps, whereas this guy's drawn under two for sure. The small ones, uh, some of them only draw like a quarter of an amp. I mean, hmm. not very much power at all. 